this is of grade 9 will do exercise 2.5 uh, question number 3 factorize the following using appropriate identities factorize means this form this expanded form you are going to write in a factor form a plus b whole square means a plus b into a plus b the expanded form you are going to make it as a multiple like a square minus b square you have to write a plus b minus b reverse now what you have to do is there are three terms means either it will be of this formula or this formula now check when there are three terms see whether you can make two terms whole square or not yes i can make this this is a 3x whole square and this one is y whole square in the middle write 2ab this become a this become b 2 into a is 3x into b is y i just took this number only 3ab and just multiply and check 2 into 3 is 6xy is matching with the middle one that means this is in this form a square plus 2ab plus b square so I, what i can write a plus b whole square so your a is 3x and b is y whole square this is your answer similarly you have to do this first make whole square 2y whole square in the corner one we can write one whole square this is one whole square okay now here you see minus i will write 2ab 2 into ab that means 2y into b is 1 now multiply and check does it match with the middle number 2 2 times is 4 4 1 is a 4 that means you are getting 4y it's matching it's going with this formula see a square minus 2ab plus b square that is 1 square for this was the formula a minus b whole square so what you write a minus b whole square means 2y minus 1 whole square please check this also my finger where i'm pointing now this one we have only two term and both are square that means i have to use this formula a square minus b square so first make it whole square before applying the formula this is a square y by i'm going to make whole square uh, 10 whole square huh. square of 10 is 100 okay i'm making whole square so this is in the form of a square minus b square what formula I'm going to use? Check here. We're going to use a plus b, a minus b. So you're going to use a plus b, a minus b. That means we are going to write x plus y by 10. x minus y by 10. So this is your answer. You can pause the video to write the solution. Thank you.